are now looking for whoever is responsible for shooting and killing a 16 year old boy. Happened yesterday in Northeast Baltimore. WMAR 2 News Brittany Verner went back where it happened and spoke with a neighbor about the constant crime going on in the community. Another teenager gunned down in Baltimore City this past weekend and people on the block where it happened say sadly this feels like another normal day in their community. I don't even watch the news anymore. And that's sad. It's past often. It's every day. Andrea Mason says near East 29th Street and Hill and Road in her neighborhood, violent incidents don't seem to be uncommon in the area. I've been around here 25 years. This ain't new. And this past Sunday, just after 6 in the evening, police say 16 year old Andreas Moreno Jr. was shot and killed in that block. Who's surprised about all these killings in Baltimore? That's what I want to know. Who's surprised? It happens every day. But it's to the point where you numb now. It's children every day. It's more children than old people. And that's sad. It's sad. Mason says no matter where you turn in the city, it sometimes seems difficult to escape the violence. It's very hurtful. My nephew just got shot. He had a home invasion at his house a week ago. Okay? 11 bullets. Yes, thank God he made it. But that was just last week. Police say on Sunday they responded after hearing gunshots and being alerted by a shot spotter. When they got there, they tried to perform CPR on the teen, but when paramedics arrived, they pronounced him dead. And although the violence seems to be normal to some, neighbors like Mason continue to wonder if they will ever see a change. We can't expect the politicians to do everything. It starts at home. I'm ready to get out of Baltimore. I'm ready to move and I've been here all my life except for when I was in the military and I'm ready to move. I'm sick of Baltimore. I'm sick of the killings every day. You to the point now, like I say, where you're numb. Nothing surprises you anymore mm -hmm. and nothing. Police have not released any information concerning who the person is they are looking for. But if you have any information concerning this homicide, you are urged to contact Metro Crime Stoppers. Brittany Verner, WMAR 2 News.